I hate it. You hate everything. Exactly. Is there anything we could do to make it better? Yeah, the computer you wrote it on? Yeah, right here. Wait, why would you make us move that paragraph just to delete it? Uh, you just made us delete the whole thing. Well, you asked me what would make it better, and getting rid of this and Regis would make it infinitely better. Wait, why don't you like me? Why do we even ask your opinion? All you do is tell us it sucks and we have to start over. It blows up in our faces. Like a smoke grenade. Yeah. On the floor. Yeah. Right next to us. We get it. With no pin. I guess good say? What happened? Smoke grenade! On the floor! No one loves you. Hey look, there's a letter! Dear Rapscallions, due to your regrettably infantile minds, you most likely haven't the slightest recognition of who I am. But I have yet to forget your nefarious miscreants and what you have done to me. Justin. 2001 A Space Odyssey made no sense! It was infuriating! I grabbed a rock or a brick, and I don't know, but that policeman never saw it coming! Hi, I hope he wasn't bothering you. Oh no, he was just telling the most interesting and irrelevant story about some form of speech impediment. Okay, so have you read the script? Read it. Oh, please. Fools like you can just read things, but I, like the druids of old, resurrected the old world from their papery grave and brought life to them for the entertainment of the groundlings and the nobles alike. Okay, so you memorized it, but have you read it? Why did your parents think you were a good idea? Well, my birth parents obviously didn't. Ahem, if we may proceed. But have you read it? Shut up! Justin, we're recording. Begin when you're ready. Oh, I'm... I know, I know. You're always... Ready. Just start. Oh, ye mere mortals haven't the slightest knowledge of what pertains to that which is comedy, and what ye devils of the fiery pits of perdition give us is not the smiling face of a comedic Greek mask, but the sadness and despair of an Oedipal tragedy. Many a night I've awoke with the horrors that thee hath planted in my psyche, horrid visions that I am forced to carry about my frail mind for the rest of my dreary years, until the hooded cloaked saviour that is death Points his long pony finger at mine exhausted being, to which I shall lift my elderly saggy arms in weak voice and cry, Take me. Your line was, I hate entourage. Well, yes, Connor of the House of Clang. What's my name in fancy talk? Shut up! Predictable. Sounds Polish. Yes, Connor, I read your script, and I use that term as loosely as your head is screwed on. If you say burned, I will kill you. I simply beefed it up. Ew. Just be glad that you have a thespian who can bring these words off the paper and make them my masterpiece. Ew. Look, Justin, it's not that you changed the words that's the problem. It's just that you were kind of overacting and we'd appreciate it if you took it down a notch. Well, I have never, never have I been insulted this much. Nobody has ever questioned my acting in all these years. And furthermore, I shan't change a thing about my flawless performance. However, it is you who must bring up your standards, put more effort into your writing, and get me a trailer. Yeah, we're not doing any of that. Flashback has ended, so my demands are thus. First, you must make an episode entirely about me. Secondary! Wait, no, sorry, that's the only one. So do all that I command, lest ye never see darling Meg again. Bye! Or as they said in Shakespeare's day, ye old bye! We have to go save Meg. I'm still here. Regis is the one that's gone. 
Oh, wait, he added onto the back. B.S. In my attempt to capture Meg, she punched me in the stomach. And as a result, I captured Regis instead. We gotta go save Regis, or else I'll be the butt of all the jokes. What do you mean, no one loves me?